Elmer and the Rose by David McKee Read by the New Storyteller Elmer the Patchwork Elephant was walking with his cousin Wilbur when a group of noisy young elephants came charging past. What's going on? Elmer asked. We were seeing who was the fastest, said one, and it was me. It wasn't, it was me, said another. You both cheated, said a third. It wasn't a real race. Let's have a real race, said Wilbur. We need to tell the other animals and decide the course, said Elmer. We'll have the race next week. It was a busy, noisy week. The other animals promised to come and watch. There was always one or more of the young elephants practicing and older elephants cheering them on. On the day, nine elephants showed up ready to race. Each racer was decorated with a different colour. Blue complained about being blue, so Red agreed to swap with him. Finally, they were ready. Good luck, said Omer. Remember, it's not just who is fastest or slowest, but how you run the race. Ready, he called. Steady said Wilbur. Go! They shouted together, and the races were off. Elmer and Wilbur had shortcuts to viewing places along the route. The first was the river. Brown was there, and way ahead of the others. The crocodiles cheered. Brown has started fastest, said Wilbur. There's still a long way to go, said Elmer. Next, it was Monkey Corner. The cheeky monkeys confused the races by throwing food and shouting, That way? No, this way. Faster, faster turn here. Pink and Violet went off in the wrong direction, while the others caught up with Brown. After that, there was a hill. At the top, Yellow was ahead, with Green close behind. <laughs> Pink and Violet are still lost, chuckled Elmer. At Red Rock Valley, Yellow purposefully tripped Green as she tried to pass. Cheat! Cheat! roared Lion and Tiger. Green was hurt, and White stopped to help her. Lucky we saw that, said Whooper. Elmer and Whooper reached the last viewing place just as Orange prepared to pass Yellow. Yellow was ready to trip him, as he had Green. Boo! shouted the hippos. Blue saw his chance and passed them both. Yellow is disqualified, said Elmer. Blue stayed ahead and won. That would be me if I hadn't changed colour, said Red. Pink and Violet arrived together, laughing too much to run. Last was injured Green, with White helping her. Yellow was ashamed and went to say sorry. Now for the medals, said Wilbur. 
Well, said Elmer, Blue gets the medal for finishing first, and Orange for finishing second. Without a second, you can't have a first. There were also medals for the fastest starter, the bravest, the kindest, and the unluckiest. There were two for the funniest, and one for the sobbiest, who used to be the naughtiest. Another day, we might have another story. Features for all of you. The End David McKee's first book was published in 1964. His books are now published in many languages throughout the world, and many of them have been adapted for television. He is one of the leading contemporary children's book creators.